Hi, it's Phil Bedford here, and welcome to the Rebel Networker. And today I'm here with a good friend and a speaker expert, got some grand glanny from uh, Right Selection. So just one second. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, interestingly enough, the, the Gotham's rise in, in the area of speaking uh, and bringing in caliber speakers has been astronomical. I mean, they started off as a bookstore in Dubai, and now they bring into Dubai and the Middle East some of the world's top speakers: uh, Marshall Goldsmith, Brian Tracy, uh, Vern Harnish, Bob Urichuk. Uh, I mean, the list is endless. I'm not going to go on. Um, but Gotham, what I wanted to do is, is just to get you to share with, with the audience today some of the tips on how you've had that meteoric rise and how you've driven your business to the next level. What tips to help our audience grow their business? Fantastic, thank you, Phil. I mean, it's really about always asking myself, what, what's the next step? What, what new value can I bring the marketplace? Because whatever you're doing, there's always more value that you can bring the marketplace. So that's a question I constantly ask myself uh, regularly to see what new value can you bring to the market uh, place in the educational space. That could be bringing in new speakers, it could be bringing in new, the latest books, um, it could be organizing an event which you stimulate, surround yourself with the right people. So it's a combination of different things that I keep asking myself and bringing new values to the marketplace. Interesting. And in, in, in terms of uh, your personal growth, what would you say would be your three top tips for entrepreneurs to grow their business in terms of uh, networking referrals, uh, just business growth? I think to me, the number one, people ask me, what's the number one strategy? And I said, there's so many strategies out there, but the number one for me has been breaking bread with my customer in terms of building a relationship building because it's really about nurturing the relationship building the trust before you even get to business because it's it's people like to do business with people they're comfortable with people they like and and they they feel that the authenticity in the relationship so to me it's about building the relationship first and that's the precedent that i set myself Fantastic. Well, one thing i've always noticed about you is when you're dealing with people is no matter how tense the situation you're always calm and I never see it. I never see you get angry. I never see a tense word. Is that a skill, or is? What is I, I'd have to thank my dad for that, to be honest, because he's he's cool, calm, and collected, and no matter what the situation is. And I think that composure is something that gives the other person makes them feel comfortable. So I think that's something that you know, simple keeping smiling or just a handshake and staying calm in all situations gives puts the other person at ease and makes it comfortable to have a conversation. What would you say is the biggest gift a speaker has given to your audience? The biggest gift a speaker. So I'm catching him out. Now. Didn't expect <laughs> to me, I mean, just staying in touch with them way beyond the, the the event and the experience. Many of the speakers, it's a one day experience. How do they stay in touch? I use Ron Kaufman as an example. He's constantly having a monthly uh, newsletter which comes and providing purely education, example, stories, benchmarking. So he's constantly providing value for a whole year before he's back again. So I think that's what one of the big challenges with it, with it, with any kind of learning, is it can be very. It's almost like it's an espresso shop, and people attend and they expect to have massive differences right. and massive changes in their life, and they just tend to go back to what they always did. And and I love what Ron's doing there, which is keeping the people engaged to hopefully change habits. Absolutely, and the idea is to inspire them to take action. Otherwise, it's just knowledge, and knowledge without action is is not worth anything, as you and I know. Edutainment. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Got him. Thanks so much. All yeah, his pleasure. details, yep. Yeah. All his details will be underneath, and I encourage you to connect with him and see who he's bringing into the market. Phil Bedford, Rebel Networking.